Hey everybody, it's Tim here. And today I wanted to shoot this video in hopes that I could reach some of the high schoolers that are thinking about going to college but don't want to get into the student debt. See, as a mortgage broker, I come across a lot of people that want to buy a home but they just simply don't qualify only because of student debt, not because of credit or down payment. And it seems to be happening more and more these days. So what I thought I'd do is just shoot a video and share with you my tips on making sure that school is a good thing for you financially. I mean, look, with the price of school skyrocketing and everything skyrocketing these days, it's important now more than ever to do these steps before going to college so that you can go to school and not end up like most people that take out student loans, which is regret. See, after all, 63% of college students regret taking on a loan. 22% said that it impacted their mental health. And 28% said that student debt is the barrier to buying a home. And we all know just how important home ownership is in relation to wealth. I mean, the median net worth of someone with a home in 2019 was $255,000, while the median net worth of a renter was just $6,300 in comparison. That's like 40 times difference. So you can see why it's important to be a homeowner when you're ready. As a mortgage broker, I see this way too often. Student debt is as high now, topping 1.75 trillion. And this is why now more than ever, it's so important to learn how to budget and work through a plan prior to going to college. So today, I'm gonna to lay out a bulletproof plan so you can start immediately getting yourself in and out of school debt-free. All right, so let's get into it. The first step is you're gonna research the cost of college for your desired profession. Too many people start school without this step. And if you're not sure what you wanna do, then consider waiting a year while you save up some money and decide what profession that you want. It's better to not go to school for something that has no value to you financially if you're trying to live a comfortable lifestyle. Okay, so now that we've done that, that research, we need to add up some numbers and not just the tuition, but we also need to add up costs of things like books, electricity, gas, rent, insurance, the list goes on. Luckily, I actually have a list to my personal budget that I'm gonna go ahead and post in the description for you to download, and you can use it yourself. And hopefully this will help you out. Once we figured out all the numbers, then we can move on to step number two, which is research the profession that we've chosen to find out exactly how much we can expect to make. I find that by going to salary.com and typing in the profession, you'll get a very accurate range to use for your estimates. Then you'll get to see how much potential income that you have. Many people told me if they just had done this step, it would be life changing. You may decide that you want to change your profession or you may be happy with you what you selected. But at least now you have basic information that you need to make that decision. All right, so now that we've done that, step three, look for grants and scholarships. There are actually tons of scholarships and grants in each field of study as well as in different states and there's federal grants. Even some scholarships, like in the example of a vet tech, they can look at the Pell Grant, they can look at the AKC, AKC and Hearts Vet Technician Scholarship and the list goes on. And the best part is, they can apply for all of them. Now, this does take some re research and some work, but it will be worth it for your financial and your mental health later. And don't give up if you try and don't succeed at first. There's help out there for everyone. All right. Step four, and this is a hard one, but let's get a job to work while you go to school and pay the difference by working your way through college. I know it's not the easiest way, but I just want to be real and transparent with you. There's really no such thing as a free ride. If you want to get this done right, it's going to take some hard work on your, on your part, but it will be worth it in the end, I promise. Step five, let's go over all the numbers. First, we'll break down our costs and our total income in order to figure out exactly how to pay for school. 
Now, here's the best part. Congratulations, you've created a budget. You're ahead of 55% of Americans that don't work on a budget. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you take these five steps and you plan out your college accordingly, I have a feeling you'll be able to get through it with no regrets. All right guys, that was my short tip on going to school without going into debt. Hope that you like the information. If you do, consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and if you know anybody, we're getting ready to go to college, forward it on. All right, we'll see you later, folks.